Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's logo design tutorial, we will design this logo by using Inkscape. This logo is the combination of four different elements. You can also check out the detailed project on Behance. I have provided the link in the description. Now, without wasting any time, let's continue with the design process in Inkscape. So first of all, if your Inkscape view isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties, select the display unit to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Then set the width of your page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels and simply select this cross icon. Now the presence of two menus is very important for almost each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu, simply click on this icon. And the second one is align and distribute menu, simply click on this icon. And both of these menus are appearing on the right side of your screen. Then click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows. Now first of all select the circle tool and to draw a perfect circle, simply hold down the control key. Then hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse cursor like this. Now we doesn't need the fill, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color or you can say a boundary color by holding down the shift key and clicking on this black color. Then select the selection tool and here we have the option for the width and the height. Before applying any value, simply click on this lock icon. Then set the value of height to 600 pixels and press enter. Then right click on the circle and select duplicate and this time select the value of height to 450 pixels and press enter. Then select both of these shapes, go to align and distribute menu, from the relative to select page, then select center on vertical axis and also center on horizontal axis. Then deselect the shapes by clicking on the white area. Then select this smaller circle and apply it some different color to differentiate between the parts. Then hold down the shift key and click on this green color. Then select the rectangle tool and now we want to draw a rectangle from this quadrant to this quadrant. For this purpose, we have to turn on the snapping options. So click on this icon, enable snapping. Then click on this one, snap nodes, path and handles. Now we will turn on the rectangle corners and also quadrant points. Then hold down your left mouse button at this quadrant and drag it towards this one. Now simply select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and click once on this green circle go to path and select union. Again select the rectangle tool and this time draw a rectangle from this quadrant to this quadrant. Again select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and click once on this black circle, go to path and select union. Now select this green shape and apply it a solid color like this green color. Then select this black shape and also apply it a solid color like this red color. Then select both of these parts go to path and select difference. Now we doesn't need the stroke color so we will cancel it by holding down the shift key and clicking on this cross icon. Now select the circle tool, hold down the control key and draw a random circle like this. Then select the selection tool and here we have the option for the width and the height. Simply select the value of height to 170 pixels and press enter. Then hold down the shift key, click once on this part and in the align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected then click on this icon center on vertical axis and also center on horizontal axis. Now simply deselect both of these parts by clicking on the white area then select this shape and simply apply this orange color. And now we want to rotate this orange shape at 45 degrees in the clockwise direction. So go to object and select transform. In the transform menu simply go to rotate select the value of angle to 45 degrees and simply click on this icon which says rotate in the clockwise direction then select apply. Now let's continue with the wings design. So select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle. We doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by holding down the shift key and clicking on this cross icon. Then simply select the selection tool, deselect on this lock icon then set the value of width to 310 pixels and hide to 80 pixels and press enter. 
then right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this corner and simply apply this blue color so that we can easily differentiate between the parts for this blue rectangle simply apply the value of 5 to 50 pixels and press enter now select this orange rectangle right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this corner and set the value of 180 pixels and press enter now it doesn't need this blue rectangle so simply drag it at this position then select this orange rectangle and now we want to convert this sharp corner into the rounded one so simply go to path and select path effects click on this small plus icon and select the path effects of corners select edit pass by nodes tool and you can see that green colored nodes are appearing on every sharp corner simply hold down your left mouse button at this green node and drag it like this once you are done simply go to path and select object to path also for this part click on this plus icon then select the path effects of corners and drag this green node at this corner then simply go to path and select object to path then select the selection tool select both of these shapes go to path and select union hold down the shift key and click once at this red circle then go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and click on this icon which says align top edges then deselect the shapes by clicking on the white area again select this shape hold down the shift key and this time select this body again in the align and distribute menu click on this icon which says align your object to the right of the anchor and once you are done simply deselect the parts by clicking on the white area select this shape right click select duplicate hold down the control key and drag your duplicated copy in a straight line then click on this icon flip selected objects horizontally again hold down the shift key and click once on this shape and now from the align and distribute menu select on this icon which says align object to the left corner of the anchor now deselect the parts by clicking on the white area press z on the keyboard and zoom in this area now we simply want to remove these gaps simply select the edit pass by nodes tool click once at the wings then select all of these left side nodes hold down your control key and drag them like this then simply select zoom to fit page in windows again repeat the procedure with this left side wings again select these right side nodes hold down the control key and drag them like this now select the selection tool and now we want to place this blue rectangle at the bottom side of the wings before that we will turn on the snapping options which says snap to paths then drag your blue rectangle at the bottom of the wings simply hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it like this then hold down the shift key and click once at this shape go to path and select difference then select edit pass by nodes tool and simply hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this one and click on this icon which says zoom to fit selection in windows now select these two nodes and press delete now select the selection tool simply deselect the parts by clicking on the white area and now select all of these parts by pressing ctrl plus a then go to fill and stroke menu and reduce the value of opacity to 50 percent and press enter again deselect the parts by clicking on the white area simply select this middle circle right click and select duplicate and simply apply a different color to the duplicated copy like this blue color now hold down the control and shift key and also hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it towards this quadrant like this now simply hold down the shift key select this shape go to path and select difference then click on this small plus icon of the path effects select the path effect of corners scroll down and here we have the option for the radius simply select the value to 10 and press enter and it will convert the sharp corners into the rounded ones once you are done go to path and select object to path now simply reset the page view by clicking on this icon zoom to fit page in windows select all of these shapes go to path and select union and simply increase the value of opacity to 100 percent and this is for today's logo design tutorial in inkscape you can also share your thoughts about the design in the comments section that whether you liked it 
or not or if you want to suggest any modifications and if you think that this video helps you in some way then like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day